No, Norman, not yet. Ah. Will we be there soon? Not long, Norman. How long? Soon, Norman. Norman! Oh, Lamykins! Oh no! The brakes have failed! We've stopped! But we're hanging over the edge of a cliff! Everyone stay still. I'm going to call Fireman Sam. When he hears that fire alarm, Sam is always cool and calm. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So Moosehide, make way for Fireman Sam, cause he's gonna save the day. To the core, Sam is the hero next door. If there's trouble, he'll be there. Underground or in the air. Fireman Sam and all the crew, they'll be there to rescue you. So must I make way for Fireman Sam? Cause he's gonna save the day. Well done, Elvis. Oh, dear. I'm running out of pans. I've got nothing to cook my spaghetti in. Don't worry, Elvis. We won't be here for much longer. It's still a while before the new fire station's built. I just hope we have enough pans to last till then. It's no good, Station Officer Steele. I've been tinkering with your flange joints all morning. And I'm afraid your pipes are just too old. And the roof needs replacing. And the floors are crooked. Oh dear, well, I, I suppose we can struggle through for a few more weeks. No, I'm sorry, Norris. I'm not sure we can struggle through a few more hours. For safety purposes, we're going to have to shut your fire station down tonight. Tonight? Keep calm, firefighters. We've got a mobile command unit that you can use while you're waiting for the new fire station to be built. Be ashamed to leave the old place, though. I wonder if there'll be any emergencies on our last night. Looks like there might be. Trevor Evans's bus is dangling over the edge of Ponty Pandy Cliffs, and it's full of passengers. Trevor Evans's bus is dangling over the edge of Ponty Pandy Cliffs, and it's full of passengers. Penny, Elvis, you take Venus. I'll go ahead on Mercury. Don't worry. Fireman Sam is on his way. Ah! Well, I hope he gets here soon. I need you to stay at the wheel. Roger that, Sam. Buck her up, Penny! She can't take the weight. Elvis, get ready to move the passengers clear. I want you all to move towards the door very carefully. Oh. 
That's it. Keep coming. Stand clear, everyone. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Dillis is still inside. She's too scared to move. Come on, Mum! I can't look. I'm too frightened. Keep her steady, Penny. I'm going in. I'll try, Sam. Ooh. Ooh. Keep calm. I've nearly got you, Dillis. Hurry, Sam. Ooh, no. Ooh. Come on, Dillis. Quickly. Get the wire cutters! Stand back, everyone! Sam! My bus. Ah, oh, just another day in Ponty Pandy. finished and I've still got a lot of painting to do but don't worry Sam it'll all be ready in time for the big opening excellent news Mike but I hope you're being careful a building site can be a very dangerous place especially with all these gas canisters around don't you worry Sam safety is my middle name well I best get back to work uh, whoa. Whoa. oh no ah. Sorry, Sam. From now on, safety is definitely my middle name. <gasps> Always wear a hard hat on sight, Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. So, this is where it's going to be. A wildlife exhibition by the wild men of Pony Pandy. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be Bonza. Uh... We're going to need a lot of photos if we're going to fill all this space, mate. Well, you got your camera. I oh, know, but how are we going to snap all the wildlife in Ponty Pandy? Well, it'll take months. Not now we've got the bobcat. The bobcat? Oh, she's brilliant, mate. And she could go over land and on the water. Hop aboard! So, with your snapping and my driving, we'll have that exhibition ready in no time. Uh, mate, just one thing. Why is she called the Bobcat? Bobcats can't go over land and water. You're right, Tom. Uh, what about calling her the Catfish? Because a cat can go on land and a fish can go in water. <laughs> hey, catfish it is! Station Officer Steele's still trying to get the comm link working, Penny. Yes, Sam, but not much luck yet. Try giving it two turns to the left, Firefighter Morris. I'll have our emergency radio working in no time. Excuse me. Still writing that song, Elvis? Yes, Sam. I'm going to perform it at the grand opening of the new fire station. It's called Ponty Pandy Rock. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be brilliant, Elvis. <laughs> there we go. And coming up after the next tune, we have the news and weather. Oh. Comling's still not quite working yet, then, sir. No, sir. At atmospheric um, pressure. Right. Let's get this map of Ponty Pandy up on the wall. Hello. Is that the Ponty Pandy restaurant a takeaway? D no, Dillis. It's Station Officer Steele. Oh. I'd like to order a pizza, please. We don't sell pizza. Well, that's not very good. My Norman wants a large pepperoni. He is a large pepperoni. Confounded thing. Um, hmm. It... No, that won't work. Uh... Oh. Sorry, Sam. Not your fault, Elvis. I think we might need a smaller map until we've got a bigger wall. No, Dillitz. You can't have a chicken chop suey either. Now, that 
that's what I call a big fish. A pony pandy carp. Just hold a steady, Moose. Uh, I'm trying, but the river keeps pulling us away. Uh, it swam round the front. Just to the left a bit. Yeah, yeah. Now, smile, you little beauty. Oh! <laughs> uh, don't worry, Tom. I'll save you, eh? Uh, got ya! You've got me, but who's got the catfish? Uh-oh. Whoa! What the grizzlies? I can't see! Uh, we're heading out to the ocean. Head to the beach, Moose. I'm trying, Tom. But the, the tide is too strong. Whoa. I think we're sinking. I thought this thing was supposed to float. It does, but these waves are a bit bigger than she's used to, eh? Well, I don't think the catfish is quite the right name for her. You're right there, Tom. Oh, what are we going to do? Call it something else. No. Better call Fireman Sam. Hmm. <laughs> Moose and Tom have been swept out to sea in a car that can float. We're going to need all three boats from the Ocean Rescue Centre. With Tom out to sea, we won't be able to use the helicopter to search for them. Roger that, Sam. I hope Fireman Sam finds us soon. Uh, we've lost sight of the shore now. Keep bailing, mate. Keep bailing. <laughs> oh, look! I think that's Fireman Sam. I found them. Head north. Repeat, head north and look for my flare. Just hang on, boys. We'll have you back on dry land in no time. I'm sorry, Sam. I need to get a bit better at driving the catfish before we try and get any more photos for our exhibition. I think that's a good idea. Never hurts to practice somewhere safe first, Moose. I will, Sam. I've just had a great idea. You know what we could call it, Moose? What? The duck-billed platypus. A duck-billed pity, but what do we puss? Um, right then. Let's head back to shore. I wonder how many more emergencies there'll be before we move into our new fire station, Sam. Who knows, Elvis? Who knows?
done, done, and done. Perfect. Ready for the grand opening. Station Officer Steele. I can't believe that Ponty Pondy has a new fire station. I bet you're really excited. <laughs> well, I am, Dillis. Very excited indeed. <laughs> Here we go. There's a place I know where the people say hello as you walk on down the street. It's a friendly space where you know the face of every single one you meet. Let's rock, rock, Ponty Pondy, rock, rock, Ponty Pondy. It's the great Getting down, it's a little body party of mine. Let's rock, rock, a bunch of party, rock, rock, a bunch of party on a Saturday night. Everything feels right. It's a little body party of mine. It's a little body party of mine. It's a little bloody party. <laughs> oh. for the grand opening. Yay! It is with great honour and privilege that I, the esteemed Chief Fire Officer Boyce, now declare Ponty Pandy's new fire station open! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Now, help yourself to Bromwyn's fine buffet while I show the firefighters their new home. As you can see, you can now park all your fire vehicles in the station. Oh, look! Mercury's inside now. There's even room for two more. Well, you never know when you might want to expand. Oh, look! This station doesn't just have one pole, it has two. We can slide down at the same time, Penny! Two poles seem a bit much for just us four. Aha! That's because I have a very special surprise lined up for you. Firefighter Arnold McKinley! <laughs> and Firefighter Ellie Phillips! New members of the Ponty Pandy Fire Service. They've just finished their training at Newtown Academy and they came top of their class. Excellent. Wow! A four wheel drive, longitudinal, front engine, six cylinder, high compression turbo diesel. I can't wait to get behind the wheel of that. I don't understand a word he just said, Sam. He's talking about Jupiter, Elvis. Oh. I'm looking forward to learning from the best. Fireman Sam! Why, thank you, Arnold. <laughs> Teacher's pet. Now for the rest of the tour. Oh, <laughs> with these additional fire hydrants, you'll be able to fill up Jupiter and Venus faster than ever before. And you can use them while you're training at the training town. There's even one for sticky foam. Oh, I love sticky foam. <laughs> Don't worry, Elvis. It'll all take a bit of getting used to. Uh, now on to the control room. Fridlington, will you please stop squelching? I'm sorry, sir. I can't help it. I've got my pants all wet. This is your new all-computerised control system. Watch this. Ponty Pandy, overview. Who said that? It was the screen, Twiddlington. And you can zoom in to see more details. Ponty Pandy Key, the whole fish cafe. Ooh, ooh, that's really clever. It's only a built-in intelligent assistant high-speed processor that speaks natural language voice commands. <laughs> uh, hmm. a little more complicated than the old fax machine. Right, I need to get back to Newtown. Good luck getting to know each other and getting to know your new fire station. It's so 
great to have another girl on the team, Ellie. Oh, thanks, Penny. I can't wait to get started. What's the helmet for? Tomorrow's my day off, so I'm taking the kids potholing round some of the caves and mines in the mountains. <gasps> I've never been potholing. Well, next time we have a day off together, let's do it. You're on. Couldn't have a new fire station without the old bell. Or the old picture. Right. Now, what am I supposed to do with this? The cut price shop. Ooh, I say, that is clever. Initiate emergency procedure for the cut price shop. What? Oh, no, no, don't. Emergency rerouted to the Holefish Cafe. What? I never mentioned the Holefish Cafe. Window cleaning initiated. I didn't, what? I don't want any windows cleaned. Now stop this. I'm sorry, I do not understand that command. Stop, I tell you. Oh, dear. Ooh, thank you, Sam. That thing wouldn't stop talking at me. What did you do? I deactivated the voice mechanism, sir. You might want to read this. What is it? The instruction manual, sir. What? Oh, oh well, it's very, um, it's very big. Oh. Thank you for purchasing the map screen 700. If you follow the instructions carefully... <laughs> Swallows are swooping close to the ground. A storm must be on the way. I wouldn't take too much notice of those, Charlie. There was a storm on the Ocean Rescue Centre radar, but it was a long way out to sea. It'll probably pass us by. Not according to the swallows. Right. We should get back to the mainland before it gets too dark. We can come back and put up the safety notices in the morning. OK, Charlie. James, it'll be really fun. We're going to be going through some actual old gold mines. And I bet I can find actual gold! In your dreams, Norman Price. I could find gold. Hello, Grandad. Hello, Nipper. Hello, you lot. A bit windy today, Penny. That won't bother us, Gareth. We'll be in the caves. Finding gold? Ooh, we'd better get on our way then. Now, we have three types of fire to be extinguished. Elvis, can you demonstrate which extinguishers to use? Yes, Sam. Fire one, liquid fire. <laughs> oh, 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 stop rolling away. Oh. I wouldn't want to be in an emergency situation with him. Stop for a minute, Charlie. It's not quite in yet, Ben. No. It's been really windy all day. But feel how still it is now. Strangely still. Look, Charlie. The sky in the distance. Those swallows you saw yesterday might have been right. It does look like a storm's coming. Please try and stay still. Whoa! Well, I got the perfect picture. Really? Yeah, if we wanted a picture of an empty branch. Sorry, Tom. Still getting used to the controls, eh? Show me the photos we got. We must have some good ones. Hmm. 
I can't say this is going to be the best wildlife exhibition Pawnee Pandy has ever seen. No. It's really beginning to whip up. I'll find out what's happening. This is the Ponty Pandy Coast Guard calling the National Weather Centre. Do you read me? Over. At last. We've been trying to get hold of you, but we haven't been able to get through. We've been tracking a storm in your area, and we're upgrading it. You'll need to follow emergency procedures. Prepare for a hurricane. A hurricane? We need to tell Fireman Sal. That was Ben. There's a hurricane heading for Ponty Pandy, and it's a big one. We're going to need all the firefighter power we have. Where's firefighter Morris? She was taking some of the kids potholing near the Mountain Activity Center. I'll try and catch her before she goes in. Well, there's a river under those mines. They flood really easily. Come in, Penny. Come in, Penny. Come in, Penny. Do you read me? She must be in the mines already. I'll try Moose. And I'll scramble the other firefighters. Come in, Moose. Are you there, Moose? Over. Oh, I can barely hold my camera still in this wind. Can you try and keep her steady, Moose? It couldn't be more steady. Ah! Sorry, Tom. I'll be heading up into the mountains to make sure the kids are safe and bring Penny back to town. In the meantime, Elvis, you will be in charge of Arnold and Ellie. You'll need to prepare Ponty Pandy for the hurricane. Roger that, Tom. Set them. If this hurricane is as bad as it looks, we'll need you and Penny back here as soon as possible. I know, sir. I'll be as fast as I can. Handbags up against the doors. Would that be sandbags, Elvis? Sorry, you're absolutely right. Yes, sandbags. Where do we get them from? Ah, oh, yes, sorry. Uh, they're in Jupiter's lockers. Elvis! I heard there was a hurricane heading this way. What can I do to help? Ah, oh, Nurse Flood, um, You'll need to go from door to door telling everyone that a hurricane is coming. Tell everyone to bottle up as much water as they can in case they get cut off. I will, Elvis. So this used to be the old gold mine, and the miners would go through that tunnel. I can't see any gold. If there was still gold down here, Norman, they wouldn't have closed it down. Oh, there must be some gold that's been left behind. Oh. to forget the photos and get back to the centre, mate, before the trees start coming down. Don't worry, Tom. The Natterjack Toad will get us back in no time, eh? What's the Natterjack Toad? I'm trying out new names for the amphibious vehicle. The turtle. Drive! I think I quite like the Natterjack Toad.
Now those are stalagmites, and those are stalactites. They look very pointy. Why so much water trickling down the walls? A lot of old mines have underground rivers, Sarah. That sounds like Fireman Sam. It does. Fireman Sam! Sam, what are you doing here? There's a hurricane heading for Ponty Pandy, and I need to get you all to safety before the mines flood. Flood? Now, don't panic, kids. We'll all be fine. But we need to move quite quickly. Okay, everyone. We need to follow Fireman Sam. Let's go. Look! We're nearly there! Now, it's going to be very stormy when we get out there. But once we get to the Mountain Activity Centre, we'll all be safe and sound. Stay back! There's been a rock fall. We can't get out. Now what are we going to do? Is there another way out, Penny? Uh, yes. We can take the old miner's route. But we'll have to go down before we can go up. Well, let's go then. Lead the way, Penny. Oh, a gold miner's route? But there'll be lots of gold down there. We'll soon be back at the Mountain Activity Center. Oh, I hope everyone in Porty Pandy is okay. If the rivers are this high, the water must be going somewhere. Hello? Mrs. Price? I'm Firefighter Phillips. Are you okay? No! My sticky buns are floating away! Oh, you look a bit flooded. Let me take you back to the new fire station, where you'll be warm and dry. Oh, thank goodness for that! Cridlington? Are you there? Come in, Cridlington! Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, I've had three emergency calls. One from Mike Flood, one from Lizzie Sparks, and one from Trevor Evans. I'll get to them as fast as I can, sir, but the roads are really flooded. If only Fireman Sam and Penny were here. So we just keep following the path downwards and... Oh, no! There isn't a path. It's flooded. Well, we can't go back. That way's blocked. But we can't go forward either. It doesn't look far to the other side. The path just dips down and then comes up again. All of you stay here. I'll go and check that the other side is clear. Be careful, Sam. OK. Now, listen, everybody. If we swim under here, we can get back on the path. It's not very far. Really? Really. Now, you're all good swimmers. You just have to take a big, deep breath and follow Penny through. Now, deep breaths, everyone. Come on, James. We need to go. I'm, I'm too scared. Don't worry, James. All you have to do is hold on to me, and we can do it together. <sighs> OK, Uncle Sam. Ah, now, take a deep breath, and we'll be out in no time. <gasps> Where's James? I'm sure he won't be long, Sarah. I know we're all wet, but we need to keep going. Help! Somebody! Help me! Please help! We're coming! No, we have to wait for Eddie. 
Ellie to get back with Venus. We'll need a line. We can't wait for that. We have to. No! Come back! Hold on, Lily. We really need to wait for Venus. Um, we've got to secure the car and make sure the firefighters are attached to a line. I'm here to rescue people, Elvis, not wait around all day. Whoa! I've got you, but I can't hold on for long. Help! Oh, no! The old miner's route goes this way. Goodness. Wow! A bridge! Norman! Oh. Don't do anything until we've checked that it's safe first. Sorry, Fireman Sam. I thought I saw gold. I'll check it, Sam. I'm lighter than you. One by one, hold on to the rope and walk carefully over the bridge. And try not to look down. Keep going, Sarah. That's it. Now, come on, James. You were brave before. Now, don't look down. It's your turn, Mandy. OK, Sam. That's it. Keep going. <gasps> Keep looking ahead, Mandy. OK, Simon, Sam. Well done. Well done, Mandy. Come on, Fireman Sam. I've got the rope, Sam. Stronger than you look, Penny. Well, I did have some help. Oh, I never thought that one day I'd have to thank you lot for rescuing me. <laughs> We'd better get going. Come on, we need to get back. Ponty Pandy needs us. I can't hold on much longer. Penny, reach me back in when I've got them. Come on, Mrs. Chen! Ready, Ellie! into danger. I was wrong. You really do know what you're doing. Well, I've learned from the best. Fireman Sam. I hope Sarah and James are all right. 
Don't worry. They'll be fine, love. They're with Penny. Oh, we should leave, really. We can't. The conditions are far too dangerous out there. What's that? Elvis! I've come to take you all to the new fire station. Will Sarah and James know where we are? Don't worry. We'll let Penny know. Fireman Sam has gone to get them. Thank goodness you're here. Come on. I'll get you to the new fire station. I need my chair. Don't worry. There's plenty of room in the back. Good work, team. We need to bring everyone back to the new fire station as quickly as possible. I wonder what's keeping Sam and Penny. Are we going to be out soon? I hope so. The water is nearly up to my pants. We'll be out in no time. Don't worry. Just round this corner, there should be an exit. There's the way out! But how do we get up there? Well, there should be a wooden walkway. Uh, where is it? Looks like all the wood has rotted. It's filling up with water in here. It's all right. Keep calm, everyone. We need to find a way to make a ladder. With what? train track looks like a ladder. You're right. Well done, James. That's our ladder. <laughs> oh, we need something to loosen these bolts. There's an old toolbox over there. There is, Norman. An old miner's toolbox. Scared, Sarah. Me too. Don't worry, James. We'll be home soon. We should move now. You take the other end, Penny. Uh. Uh. Come on, then. Fast as you can. Where's Norman? He was behind me just now. I'm going to be rich. You're coming with me, Norman Price. Run! Oh, no! Ah. Come on, Sam! There's a lot blowing about out here. We need to get to the Mountain Activity Centre. I wonder how they're doing in Ponty Pandy. I'm sure Elvis and the team are doing fine, but we need to get back there as soon as we can. Big storm, Nipper. <laughs> but don't you worry. <laughs> we'll be all right. Sam. Oh, now signal. This way, everyone. Make sure you've got a blanket. You all need to keep warm and dry. There. I hope everyone's got some cocoa or some tea now. 
Trevor! Oh, I'm so glad you were safe. <laughs> Steady on, Dillis. It's like the whole of Fonty Fandy's in here. Ah, Cridlington, there you are. I hear from Mrs. Chen that you were a real hero out there today. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> Firefighter Cridlington was amazing, sir. You've all been amazing. A credit to the fire service. Station Officer Steele, we don't know where Joe is. I'll get down to the control room and see what I can find out. <laughs> There's a fire at Joe Sparks' garage. There's a fire at Joe Sparks' garage! We need to put that fire out and get Joe back to safety. and oil about. This is a job for sticky food. Roger that, Elvis. Arnold, you make sure Joe is a safe distance away. Right, Elvis. Come on, Joe. I think that one was supposed to be a rabbit. I'm telling you, I had gold in my hand. You're making things up again, Norman. What the grizzlies? Tom, Moose, so glad to see you. Cool, you guys are soaked. Do you want some cocoa? Oh, yes, yes, please. please. Not as much as gold. Penny and I need to get back to Ponty Pandy. Listen, kids, you stay here with Moose and Tom till the storm clears. What about our mums and dads? They'll be fine, but we need to let them know that you're okay. It's too dangerous for you to go out in this at the moment. Come in, Station Officer Steele. Over. Station Officer Steele, come in. Station Officer Steele, can you hear me? Five and Sam? I'm with Penny and the children. They're all safe, and I'll bring Penny back down on Bessie. Sorry, Sam, you can't. Gareth saw a pylon blown across the line. There's no way down by rail. Repeat, there's no way down by rail. OK, sir. Understood. Out. Now what are we going to do? I don't know. We have to find a way down somehow. I know how you can get down. What are they, Moose? The keys to the Natterjack Toad. He, he means the duckbill platypus. The, the what? what? The amphibious vehicle. Careful. She's a bit hard to handle, Sam. But uh, you can do it. Good luck! How's it going, Bridgington? Fire in the garage out, sir. Fireman Sam and Penny are on their way. Let's hope nothing else happens before they get here. <gasps> Great technical hoses! Cleveland, you need to get straight back to the station. We have a fire right outside and it's heading for the gas canisters. If the fire reaches them, they'll explode. We'll get there as fast as we can, sir.
What are we going to do? Jupiter will never squeeze past this. But Venus will. But we can only fit two in a four-wheel drive flatbed appliance. Does he mean Venus? Yes, Elvis. OK. You two go ahead in Venus. I'll make sure Joe gets safely to the station. No, Elvis. They'll need you at the place. I'll look after Joe. OK, Ellie. Arnold, let's go. <laughs> Right you are, Ellie. I'll get another fire extinguisher. You two are quite the team. Just Venus, sir. And it's spreading towards those gas canisters. What are we going to do? Those canisters contain liquid petroleum gas. If they explode, they'll destroy the whole fire station. Oh, yes. We'd better evacuate everyone. I hope Fireman Sam gets here soon. Garage isn't looking too good. What can I do to help, sir? We need to get everyone a safe distance away. Come on, everyone. Follow me. I can't stop the fire. What are we going to do? We might have to abandon it completely. <laughs> We need to cool off those gas canisters and get that fire out. We're going to need a lot of water, and fast. But where can we get it from without Jupiter? Maybe our new fire station can save the day. I bet those training hoses will reach from the extra mains outlets. Uh, keep spraying the gas canisters, Elvis. I'll be back as soon as I can. Ponty Pandy survived the hurricane. Thanks to the new fire station. It's the best fire station in the world. <laughs> And no swallows.
Don't worry, Dillis. It'll be done in no time. Oh, it looks marvellous. <laughs> Trevor! Oh, nice new bus. Fancy a spin, Dillis? Oh, yes. As long as we don't go near any cliffs. Take a look at this. Even better than it was before. And now, with the new improved Doramatic 2000. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Painted your um Natterjack platypus. Yeah. I'm giving her to you, Sam. That's very generous of you. Are you sure, Moose? Of course. I think I prefer to hike around the forest, eh? <laughs> then thank you, Moose. You'll need a new name for it though. What about Hydras? It's a group of stars, and it means water snake. That's brilliant. I love it. What a clever idea! I don't understand a single thing he said, Sam. Don't worry, Elvis. I'll explain it to you later. Well, that's settled then. Hydras it is. Right, back to work, everyone. You know, I like the new fire station even more than the old one. So do I, Elvis. So do I. Cridlington, how about a nice cup of tea? Coming, sir. 